Hello, I'm Juan Fernandez. We want to update you now on the stories we're working on tonight. This is CBSLA.com's The Rundown. Dozens of protesters arrested inside the Senate office building as Republican senators move towards confirming Supreme Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh. Demonstrators, including comedian and actor Amy Schumer, were taken away in plastic handcuffs when they refused to leave. Senators from both parties spent much of today reviewing the FBI's supplemental background check on Kavanaugh, who has been accused of sexual assault by at least three women. Republicans say the report clears Kavanaugh. Democrats say it doesn't. North Dakota Democrat Heidi Heitkamp, who was undecided on Kavanaugh, now says she'll vote no. And a Republican senator from Montana says he may miss the vote to attend his daughter's wedding. Suge Knight has been sentenced to 28 years in state prison for running a man down and killing him with a pickup truck outside a Compton burger stand. The death row records founder pleaded no contest as part of a deal to drop murder charges. The victim's widow says the she hopes Knight never leaves prison. An actor from Showtime's Ray Donovan has been arrested on suspicion of DUI after police say he crashed his car with his two year old son on his lap. Burbank police say Marion Pooch Hall failed sobriety tests after hitting a parked car last night on Buena Vista Street. A witness says that at one point, Hall's son appeared to have had his hand on the steering wheel. Now here's meteorologist Evelyn Taft with a look at weather. We're drying out across Southern California, continuing to look at dry conditions over the next few hours or so. A chance of rain, though, coming our way as we hit the weekend. Cooler and cloudier, a very slight chance, barely even putting it in our seven day, but just knowing it's out there. I just want to put it out there. You'll see temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Monday, we're going to continue to see a mix of clouds and sun, cooler and cloudier through Tuesday, but overall keeping temperatures in the 70s and 80s. Join us on CBS 2 News at 5, 6, and 11 for the latest on your weather forecast and all your day's top stories. This has been CBSLA.com's The Rundown. For Evelyn Taft, I'm Juan Fernandez. Have a great night.